What's going on guys? Christian here from CK Wraps. Don't forget to check out my website, ckwrapstoronto.com to sign up to our mailing list for exclusive offers and discounts on new and upcoming products. I'll put a link up in the top corner for you. Now today I'm going to be removing the taillight tint that's been on my car, my personal car. This is Vivid's Dark Smoke Taillight Tint. It's been on the car for about four years, okay? Since they first came out with this film, it's been on the entire time. Uh, as you might notice here, and this is the darkest version, okay? There's a lighter smoke. I get pulled over every once in a while and the cops never say anything about it. It might be because I have the reverse light cut out. So I did cut that area out. Uh, as you notice, there's a crack in my tail light right there. I have no idea how that happened, but well, whatever, it's there. Uh, anyways, not the end of the world. I'm gonna remove it just to see how it comes off because it's been so long. Uh, so keep in mind, this car has been like through four summers, four winters, and through like extremely hot temperatures and extremely cold temperatures. Uh, so we're gonna see how much adhesive, if it leaves any behind, and we're gonna use a bit of heat to take this off. I'm gonna be rewrapping this in a new tint film, which has uh, got a pattern to it, which is really cool. So I'm gonna show you guys that in another video. Uh, reason being is I'm gonna go with a lighter smoke actually, and, uh, and I wanna use this new film. So I think it'd be pretty cool. So all we're really gonna need to do this is a heat gun and your fingers. You can use plastic tool if you can't get an edge up. So I'm gonna, I have an edge right here, I know that. But again, you can see how everything's been holding up really, really well. I'll actually take you for a little spin over top of the lights just so you can see the edges and see how everything's been holding up over four years, okay? Okay, so as we see, there's no lifting around the reverse light area. And there's no lifting around any of the edges. And that's just cut straight off at the bottom. These are not the easiest lights to tint, uh, simply because of the taper up at the top there. Um, taper, I mean this area right here. We get into a nice compound curve. Uh, same thing a bit with, around, with it around here. I'll show you guys how to tint these in another video, but I do have videos on tinting these specifically. Notice my lovely dent in the rear quarter panel. But uh, as you can see, it's a bit faded over time. It's still very black, they're just a bit faded. It's more so on the horizontal than it is on the actual, the vertical. The vertical would be this area right here. Yeah, it's got some scratches and stuff like that, but again, a little bit more faded on the top side just because the sun beats down on it. But as you can see here, it's pretty decent. And I bet you if I ran a heat gun over it, probably clean it up quite a bit. Still pretty glossy. Again, no lifting, no nothing, right? My car is wrapped in the uh, nightshade purple. As you can see, it's pretty nice. Holding on great. Okay, so when we're removing this, again, just a bit of heat, and we're gonna find an edge. We don't wanna to heat too much because we obviously we don't wanna melt the plastic on our, on our light. But we're gonna see how it comes off. The problem with leaving vinyl on for a very long time is that yes, it can leave adhesive. Oh, it's coming off really, really nice actually. I'm, I'm very impressed. Uh, it can leave adhesive and it can also dry out, right? So dry out meaning that it can crack and stuff like that. So it is sort of cracking at the top there because I need to add heat. Just because it's so, it's a little bit more brittle over this time. I recommend probably removing this around the three year mark as opposed to waiting too long. And it depends on the environment that you're in. Still coming off super nice. Try and get that little bit on the top there. There we go. The heat is gonna be very important when you're doing this. It's gonna keep the vinyl intact. It's definitely weathered quite a bit. Especially on that horizontal area there. See, see, it just kind of crumbles. But, I mean, the fact that it's not leaving any adhesive behind is, is uh, the best part about this. So I'm gonna heat that up quite a bit on the top and then I'm just gonna keep the heat gun away and try and get it to come off in one shot. It's not, just that little bit on the top there. There we go. And you can see the face is much more intact. Coming off really, really nice. I haven't seen these in so long. Cool. 
You can see my crack all the way through there. No big deal. I've got a little couple extra bits on top here. So again, we'll just add a bit of heat. Keep your heat gun moving. Don't want to burn yourself or the actual light. So the little, the little bits being left behind is a very common problem with any film actually, it doesn't matter. Especially on your horizontal surfaces. When the sun is beating down on it, again, it's gonna dry it out. Hence is why you see the color fade on the top and not so much on the vertical, you see it on the horizontal. It's coming off nicely. Got a tiny, tiny bit of glue. Nothing that a little glue gun won't be able to take off and maybe some isopropyl. We just wanna be a little bit careful when we're using isopropyl that it's not too strong. I'll do the other side real quick just so you can see that it's consistent with both sides. So again, we're gonna start with a bit of heat and I'm gonna use this area right here where I have the edge. This is the benefit about having film on your vehicle is that, okay, like we can, let's switch sides here. We can protect this surface for however long. And even though it might, maybe it comes off in bits, these lenses, these taillights are in like great shape other than the crack on the other side. But as far as like scratching goes and stuff like that, really, really minimal. So great way to protect. You don't have to go this dark like I did on mine. You can go lighter. And again, when I redo these, they're gonna be, it's gonna be lighter. And I've, like I said, I've never gotten a ticket for these. Super easy to come off after all this time. Um, you know, removal is a big thing in the end too. You have to consider that you might spend some time removing a wrap down the road depending on how long someone wants to keep it on for. This side came off a lot better. One tiny little scrap right here. And that's it. So I'm gonna show you what these look like up close. They look mint. There's some like leaves and stuff kicking around in there, but otherwise they look pretty mint. And then there's some glue, like I said, on the top side, left behind right here. You can see that I can pretty much just rub that off and smear it at least, which is just glue. But it look great. As you notice, there's a bit of lifting here. It's not really lifting, it's just because my paint, my paint is coming off after removing the wrap so many times. All right guys, and there you have it. Like the fastest removal ever is probably like five minutes to get everything off. Again, I'll just take a little bit of ISO or a little bit of goo gone to that and we'll get the rest of that adhesive off. I'm gonna clean these up and retint them. If you thought this video was informative and helpful, don't forget to give it a like. And if you guys wanna see more videos, don't forget the subscribe button. Again, great way to protect your, your investment is to wrap your investment. You know, your cars, paints, your lights, whatever. You can do PPF, you can do Whatever, I mean, you, whatever you decide on choosing, a film over top of a panel is definitely gonna preserve the finish and help maintain this nice pristine look that this has right now, where it looks great and I'm just basically ready for rewrap, I'll wipe it down. Anyways guys, I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much, take care.